been a grand show I've been observing for the last three days. Jam-packed halls, continuously running around sessions. It would have been really hard work designing that program. So we like to have some quick highlights of the scientific programs. I think it's been a lot of hard work for me and my team uh, for last uh, many months. Uh, uh, but at the end, you feel very satisfied that uh, the audience is liking the show and uh, they are in troll, they are in the hall all the time, and there are so many interactions which are going on. Talking about the scientific program, we tried to cover uh, what are the real burning issues today. Uh, like we had sessions uh, which were related to the uh, percutaneous uh, aortic valve replacement, uh, tower as we call it. And we had, in fact, uh, uh, tower specialist uh, and a surgeon sort of getting together to say which are the important areas which can be addressed uh, without surgery to replace the aortic valve. Similarly, we had uh, Dr. Sebel Carr from Los Angeles, one of the World Authority on uh, Mitra Clip, uh, uh, giving us uh, details on uh, which are the cases which can go for these percutaneous procedures. So these are kind of uh, newer technologies uh, which we introduced. Uh, but I think the winning point of the meeting was uh, really the case-based discussion. Sure. We had almost uh, 15 cases, uh, different kind of case scenarios. Uh, some were built around the ST elevation MI, some were uh, uh, non-ST elevations, some were related to platelets, anticoagulations, hypertension, lipids. So we, uh, for a, a great uh, size, uh, covered uh, these uh, important issues uh, going around the cases, what difficulties we face in uh, practice. Uh, I wanted people to go home richer, not just by uh, theory knowledge, but something which they could practice back home. And I think all my speakers uh, did a great justice to their uh, uh, subject by giving the best. Uh, long, their... long list of speakers across India, across the globe. Yes. So how many speakers outside India we had? Sir? So we had uh, 49 speakers from out of country and of course uh, 400 odd from uh, India. Uh, and uh, this was a great mixture of uh, very senior level to uh, some real experts in this uh, uh, speciality. Uh, what I'm really proud was the presidential conclave sure. uh, where we uh, got together uh, the president of the European Society, the American College of Cardiology, the American Heart Association, the president of Sky, uh, and it was a grand success with the hall jam-packed and uh, uh, and, and pin drop silence, everybody's so attentive, which is so rare these days. I think this will be the first CSI when we have got all these presidents on a platform. Absolutely. I think uh, we were very lucky to have all of them uh, coming in uh, for this Congress. That's a great achievement, I believe, for Cardiological Society meeting this uh, yes, year. Yes, I think uh, everybody put in uh, a lot of hard work to get people. We, in fact, uh, miss uh, David Wood, the president of World Heart Federation, mm -hmm. uh, who couldn't uh, come in because of last minute issues with his visa. Oh, oh, that's sad. So what were the key messages we saw across various uh, topics Let's start from acute coronary syndrome. So what were the key messages? Yes, I think uh, ST elevation MI is a great burning issue. Which way to go is an important area. Uh, there are many studies uh, which are uh, sort of highlighting uh, the pharmacoinvasive approach. Uh, uh, though there were uh, speakers from overseas, especially Dr. Samir Mehta, who has uh, tons of uh, experience in uh, STEMI situation. Sure. Uh, he uh, was uh, very uh, uh, dogmatic on the issue that if patient has received in a cath lab facility, he has to go for an angioplasty for a STEMI. However, uh, the Indian scene was, of course, uh, very important uh, uh, that, uh, yes, uh, if it is going to take time, uh, pharmacoinvasive approach is the way to go. So lies. But don't forget that following lysis in the next 24 hours, the patient uh, should be in a cath lab related facility to have a uh, completeness of the job. 
for the Indian setup, I think that's very, very important message that yeah. even if we lies, the patient should be transferred Absolutely. to a higher center. So whichever way you open the artery, do it quick, uh, that's Correct. what we want to say. Correct. What were the new things which we saw in the discussion on newer antiplatelets and newer anticoagulant like NOAX? Yes. I think uh, the NOAX are with us for uh, more than three years now. Uh, and uh, all Indian physicians are very experienced. Uh, however, there continues to be uh, some kind of discussion uh, whether all uh, previously VK, VKs uh, should be switched to NOAX, uh, whether uh, especially the antiplatelets, dual antiplatelets, uh, should be combined with the NOAX or we stick to the VKAs and, and so on. So on a whole, uh, if you are uh, sort of required to use triple therapy, like say a combination of atrial fibrillation along with a recent uh, uh, PTCA, especially with a drug eluding stent, uh, it uh, makes sense uh, to use uh, the triple therapy for a shortest duration possible, uh, switch them on to uh, oral anticoagulation, uh, especially the VKs, uh, add only clopidogrel, and maybe towards the end of one year, switch only to uh, VKAs. I think uh, some kind of discussion of this nature was uh, very use useful, especially uh, the high uh, bleeding risk uh, true. patients. Very true. So we saw a lot of discussion on newer technologies as well. So could you brief us on what was the key discussion happening in that space? Yes, in the intervention scene, uh, being an interventionist at heart and core, uh, I feel we had an excellent discussion on uh, what could be the way to get the thrombus out. Uh, and though uh, there are studies uh, which balance out thrombus aspiration with the uh, conventional angioplasty, uh, many agreed that uh, there would be an niche area where aspiration is going to be crucial. So get the thrombus out, but safely, without producing stroke, that was the uh, issue which was discussed extensively. Okay. The uh, uh, tower, uh, the percutaneous aortic valve, is going to be the future in uh, coming years, uh, okay. especially uh, uh, in Europe as well as in the US. It has made a big impact, and uh, I would strongly feel that uh, we would see more of these uh, uh, in India too. So a lot of technical issues were discussed uh, which would make uh, implantation uh, perfect. What was striking, of course, was uh, uh, Dr. Devi Shetty highlighting the uh, uh, LVAD, which is a kind of a bridge uh, for heart failure patients who are waiting for heart transplant. Uh, many people using it for a longer and longer length of time, and uh, he showed a few examples. Uh, where a patient is going on for more than a few years. Uh, so uh, he feel, felt it could become a very uh, routine device, uh, which a uh, little bit uh, uh, broad-based uh, future thinking. Uh, but let's uh, put it this way, that somebody who is so experienced uh, has this kind of vision as to where sure. the country would go. I think it has been a really enriching conference for all the delegates across the country. Yes, and I lot must of tell you the uh, courtroom scenes. Uh, true, where, true, true, yes. Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, we are going to face this uh, legalities, uh, but they were put forward. In very, a very interestingly put forward to make it a very interactive yes, uh, discussion. It was a very friendly manner, the yes. doctors themselves. Uh, they really enjoyed I was seeing lots of people discussing those, so it was really happening in a very nice yes. way. So in less than 24 hours, you will be from president-elect to president cardiological society of India. So what's your vision for the next one year, sir? Yes, I think uh, we have to uh, continue working very hard. Uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the first step is actually putting out a scientific program, which is uh, appealing to everybody. Sure. Uh, I think on that ground, we have done reasonably well. Uh, so the next year would probably be uh, even more uh, active, a uh, lot of uh, things are required. Uh, but what we are trying to look forward is uh, to uh, put a lot of global connectivity with India. Uh, I think uh, the number of physicians that we have here, uh, if all of us come together, it's going to be a big volume. Uh, so with the help of uh, 
the American College, American Heart, European Society. Uh, we are trying to link uh, the CSI uh, so that we can take a better uh, aspect of these uh, organized bodies uh, and bring them into uh, the CSI. So let's hope next year uh, remains uh, a very fruitful year for everybody uh, as a cardiologist in this country. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot and congratulations once again on being Thank president you. for Cardiological Society for next year and for this wonderful show organized this year. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rishi. Talking about the scientific program, we tried to cover uh, what are the real burning issues today. Uh, like we had sessions uh, which were related to the 